Yo guys, I am back with another lightsaber video um, reviewing all the sound and color fonts on the Imperial Workshop Scavenger 2.0 NeoPixel Saber. I know this video is long overdue and I feel really bad, but I just moved to college. I'm in the dorm. It's been hard adjusting and I just really haven't had time to make uh, this video. So um, I'm just going to review all the sound fonts, all the color fonts, show you everything the Saber has to offer. I'll have the link down in the description. Uh, to the website where you can buy this exact saber. Um, I actually have a code for Imperial Workshop. It's code Dylan, just D-Y-L-A-N. You get $5 off, it supports me. It's, it's just a win-win. So without further ado, uh, we'll turn the light off. We can get started. So the first font. So obviously this is a Darth Revan font. This is probably gonna be his purple or pink blade. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's his pink blade. The sound is kind of muffled because the battery is kind of low. So take that into account. It doesn't always sound like that. It's just, I forgot to charge it before making this. It sounds pretty cool. See, if you have a low battery, the sound does kind of get muffled, but like I said, it doesn't always sound like that. So then the next one. The general, to me, she's royalty. Um, the general, I don't know if this was referring to Kenobi or Leia. Uh, we'll just have to see. I think this is Leia's saber. So like a light blue, pretty much. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next one. I'm Cal Kestis. Obviously Cal Kestis from the video game Jedi Fallen Order. So he can have a bunch of different saber colors. The one on this saber is orange. Cal Kestis is known for having blue, green, purple, like you name it. He can have any color, but this is the orange one. I think it's pretty cool. Here are the blaster deflection. Pretty cool. It also has flash on, or yeah, flash on clash. It's a tongue twister, but. These are also excellent for dueling. So if you if you and a friend have one, uh, you guys can duel and it'll be pretty cool. Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. So I think this is uh, Luke's uh, saber from Empire Strikes Back. Oh yeah, this one's one of my favorites actually. It's got the old, like, noise. See, it's kind of muffled because the battery's low, but... The color is awesome. Just normal Stormtrooper deflection blast. The next one. Darkness. So, it's darkness. I don't know who that is. It's probably just the dark side one. That was kind of cool. So it's kind of uh, like Kylo Ren saber, sort of, in the way that it's like crackled and breaking. You can kind of see. It's like a flame, sort of. This is one of my favorites. You can see when I spin it. It's like a flame. And then it, it, it uh, de-ignites uh, pretty slow. It's cool. I don't know, I like that one a lot. Rogue Commander. So this is Rogue Commander. It's um, a red font. It's like a basic red font. The hum is really low. See, it's crackling because of the low battery, but. Pretty basic red font. So this is obviously General Kenobi. This one's one of my favorite blue ones. It's just a basic blue, but it, it gets the job done. I like it. It's smooth. It's so satisfying to spin. I don't know, I like it. The 
Next one. I've become more powerful than any Jedi. So this is obviously Count Dooku from Revenge of the Sith. The next one. Okay, I accidentally activated the the uh, music. You can do that. You can deactivate it just by holding down the button. Uh, I think if you do two quick taps, it activates like this music. And then this next one is Empress Palpatine. So from Rise of Skywalker, the Darth Ray. So it started off as white, but then it uh, changed to red. And it's got the like the crackling like Kylo Ren saber. I'm gonna I'm gonna ignite it again. It's got a pretty cool deignition too. Is deignition deignite? I don't know. I don't know English. And then this is uh, Ben Solo. I think his lightsaber was blue from the Last Jedi uh, flashback. It's a clean blue one. Not as clean as the Obi-Wan one, but, you know, what are you gonna do? It's got weird blast reflection, but next one. So it, it uh, said, Dathomir will be your grave. So I'm assuming this is a Darth Maul font, either that or Savage Press. we'll see. I'm pretty sure this is Savage Press. Because Maul's saber doesn't sound like this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of sound. There's a lot of sound and color fonts on this thing. It's so worth it for the price that you pay, I promise. Darth Maul. Yeah, now this is Darth Maul. It's a, the sound is messed up because I need to charge this thing. I should have charged it, but. Just listen to like the hum. I don't know, I think it's cool. Ascension. This is Ascension. This is like my top, like this is one of my favorites on every saber. It's a green and I just think it's cool. It's just so bright and it reminds me of Luke because like Luke's my favorite character, so. And the sound is just so clean. I don't know, I like it. Plus there's not that many green fonts. The Dark Sword. So this is uh, the Dark Saber. Obviously it's not gonna be black because you can't have a black lightsaber with like you know pixels it's it just it doesn't work but it'll be like either white or blue i think it's white yeah it's just white okay the sound just cut off but it flashes when you spin it i don't know if it's just because i have low battery but it's just white hopefully my saber is uh all right i think it's fine you have to get rid of so that one was Ray. So I think this is gonna be either the blue one that she uses in the trilogy or the yellow one. So obviously it's the yellow one. So this is the one that she uses at the end of uh, Rise of Skywalker. It's like a golden saber. I don't know. I mean, it's cool. We need to see more of it. Next one. I'll show you the dark side. So this is Kylo Ren, obviously. It's probably gonna be crackling, yeah. This one's one of my favorites too. The sound is just so cool. Oh, I accidentally hit the wall. Plus, uh, I think this is close to a, it's, it, it's not a profi saber, but it's close to the sound quality of a profi, cause just literally look at this. It's not some of the cheap Disney savers that you get. It's real high quality. Again, I'll have a link in the description to get the exact saber that I got. Make sure you use code Dylan for $5 off. 
I promise you these sabers are awesome and they're definitely a bang for your buck. So the next font. Battery level indicator. So this is the battery indicator. Um, so it shows if it's at full battery, it'll be at the top. Mine's at about like half. So like the lower your battery gets, uh, the more like, it's not a, it's not like a complete distortion, but you'll see, start seeing some, hearing some crackles in your, uh, audio, uh, just because the battery is low, but when it's at full battery, it sounds so smooth. So that's the battery indicator. This one's called Defiance. I have no idea what this is from, so, <laughs> so I'm just gonna ignite it. So it's like a white. It's got like the noise of Revan Saber, but it's white. If any of you guys know where Defiance is from, please let me know, because I have no idea. Whoa. It's like a TIE Fighter deflection. It's pretty sick. Next one. Spectrum. Spectrum. This one's one of my favorites. It's not realistic, because... We'll probably never see it in Star Wars, but it's just cool to have. So it's obviously a rainbow saber. You just, you, you can see for yourself. When I spin it, you can see the different colors. I can't really spin it like as fast as I normally can because I'm in a dorm, it's a confined space. So yeah, that's Spectrum. Sorry. There we go. The next one. The dark side. This one's just. Master. This one's just called the dark side. It's probably gonna be red, or it's blue. I don't know. I don't know why it's called the dark side and it's blue. Maybe it's Star Killer. I don't know. But it's just like a blue, like cyan thing it's basically a normal blue saber it's kind of like flashing though i don't know if you can see that it's a very very smooth swing noise though okay next one never fought anyone like me. okay so we're already back to revan so those are all the sound fonts on the Imperial Workshop Scavenger 2.0 NeoPixel Saver. Um, I really like it. It was definitely worth the purchase. Uh, these are some of the best bang for your buck uh, savers that you can get. They're trusted, I promise. They deliver fast. I'll leave a link down in the bio and in, in the description to, sorry. I'll leave a link in the description to buy this exact saver. Uh, at checkout, if you're buying a saver from them, Please use code Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N. It really helps me out and you get $5 off. It's a win-win. I don't see why you wouldn't. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's late, but um, yeah, uh, I don't really know how to do outros. You can look at all my videos, all my outros suck, but uh, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post Marvel and Star Wars videos over there. I'll leave those in the description, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day.